Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our Vintage Story world. Um, you may notice my voice sounding a little bit different. I tinkered with the microphone a bit, and I think I like this better. It reduces some of the clacking of the keyboard you hear in the background. So let me know what you think down in the comments, and uh, we will take it from there. In regards to today's episode, there's a couple things I want to do. I want to make sure, at the very least, we get this farm taken care of. I want to get this all fixed up and brought back and so on, but before we do that, I'm running low on tools and I need to go make some new tools, but I think we have an opportunity to look at entering the Iron Age. I'm not sure we're actually going to enter the Iron Age this episode or actually begin the process. Um, we're just going to take a look at it. And the reason I say, I'm just going to dump into this chest. I'll forget these are in here at some point and then I'll get all upset about it. Um, but we're just going to be irresponsible in the moment. But the reason I say we're going to look at the Iron Age is because if I pull up the map... Oh. My prospector info is broken. It's my carry-on's working, isn't it? All right, well, let me be right back at, and see if I can get my Prospector Info mod working. Okay, I've loaded back in the world and the mod is still not working right. Let's grab a Pro Pick and see if it's working. I don't know why it would break. There haven't been any gamer mod updates, uh, so it necessarily shouldn't be breaking. Do I not have a Pro Pick? I do. Okay. Okay, it's working now, it's just not giving me a UI option here. Um, anyway, as I was saying, uh, the reason I say maybe is that I do have magnetite here. Um, and I haven't found any a decent magnetite. So I think if we start making our way down the mine shaft, we may be able to find a source of iron and we may be able to uh, begin looking at going into the iron. But if we're not able to really find a source of iron, it's not something I really want to do. So I am not set on it, I guess, is, is what I'm trying to say. Um, because I really don't mind the bronze tools. I have no intention of moving towards steel anytime soon. I, I want to do a lot more work before we do that. but. If we can make the jump to iron, I think it would be nice to make that jump before we make such an investment in our uh, bronze again. And it's an investment that will, or it's a jump that'll take some time. Okay, so I'm going to make my way over to the copper mine. Uh, it should take most of the day. Um, and I'll see you guys when we get back there. We made it right before nightfall here, and I could be wrong, but I do believe the days are getting longer again. I think we hit the, uh, the solstice, and you'll see that we've moved on to our crocs. Uh, I am officially um, out of pie, finally, so we are eating out of our crocs again. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to head all the way down here, and I don't know how far down we've made it yet, but I want to dig close to the bottom of the world, I know. And let's just do a reading and see if we're able to get you here. Let's see if we're just able to find any iron willy-nilly. That would be pretty nice. I don't think we will. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, look at that, we have magnetite. Let's dig down a ways. One, two, three, four, and I'll pro pick this. Magnetite, still small amounts. It's good to know. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I find the magnetite, and I will see you guys once we are there. Okay. So, it turns out the magnetite is above us. I guess I dug a little too deep, so let's dig a staircase up here. 
and get to mining. I don't know how big magnetite veins are. I know hematite is um, pretty big. So I don't know how magnetite is in comparison, but we're gonna mine um, probably until we get through most of our pickaxes here. Let's just get up here and I'll actually, perfect, mine like this. And now I'm just gonna mine all the way through and just see how big this is. So I'm gonna do that and I'll touch base with you guys in a second. Well, this doesn't appear to be particularly huge, um, but I do just want to spawn proof over our tracks here because I do hear some drifters probably in a cave nearby. I just wanna make sure we're all covered here. And I'm going to mine up this uh, magnetite, and I'll join back with you guys shortly. Okay, so there is far more magnetite in here, as you can see here, than I gave this vein any credit for. It's a pretty good size, and I think we've mined out, oh, more than half of it, actually. You can hear the creepy music has started playing, which indicates that um, my temporal stability is getting low, so... I am going to have to head to the surface here for a second, um, but I think I'll do a little more mining and then we'll head up. Oh, and there's copper here as well. Well, I'm not going to grab the copper, but it's good to know that it's here, um, just because this is the last pickaxe in our world. Um, so I'm just going to, I do want to preserve at least a little bit of it. And that's why I'm not sure if we'll get all the magnetite because I do want to keep our pickaxe preserved a little bit, just so that we can, for example, uh, do our project with the farm, um, so that we can break, uh... I hear drifters close by. Have to keep an eye on that. Anyway, um, before I get too distracted, I'm going to continue working on this, and I will join up with you guys shortly. Spent the night at a nearby trader. I figured that would probably be the best thing for us to do. I did decide, uh, get you placed down here. There we go. I did decide that three, four stacks of the magnetite plus these crystallized chunks was probably good enough for now. Um, our mine is really low in the world and I did not really safety proof it. So I found a ton more magnetite and I was like, okay, well, we're nearly full on inventory. Drifters are spawning. I, I think we'll be all set for now. So I made that call. Anyways, I'm going to carefully make my way back home. And I say that because I did most of my mining with a wolf in the background. So there is a wolf somewhere that we have to be mindful of. But I'm going to make my way back home, and we are going to get some blooms, some iron blooms, ready to roll. And then we're going to go fix our farm, of course, but we're going to get the iron blooms ready. Oh, oh, check it out. Our sheep has grown up. Which means, some of you may have been waiting for this, it's time for us to feed our sheep, because we want it to get pregnant. So let's head down here and grab our flax, which I put in here. I have two piles of flax, now I have one. And let's go feed the sheep. And I, while I'm down here, I should grab the hand. That would be the responsible thing to do, because we are going to need it to pound up all this iron, get it ready into iron bloom, and then what else are we doing? Oh, we gotta go put our stones away. I don't want him to hit me like that. So let's just fill you up. There we go. You guys can go to town now. Just like that. I'm gonna go put our stones away. Wow, our stone chests are getting full. Time to uh, make some path blocks here pretty soon. Oh yeah, it's definitely time to make path blocks. 
Now let's get this all broken up into nuggets. And I'm going to break all of it up, including the crystallized. I don't need to hold on to that. And that's quite a good amount of magnetite, um, if I do say so myself. Now next what I'm going to need is I'm going to need our bricks. And if this is all we have, then I am in trouble. 36. I don't know how many... Oh, I might only be able to make like two or three of these. That's not good. Yeah, I can only make three. That's not good at all. Well, it looks like we have a new uh, project to add to our list. We have to fire up our pit kilns and get some new bricks going. But at the very least, we can get these uh, furnaces. So let's just get you guys placed here and here. And I'll add the rooftops onto them. And now let's get them filled up with our iron nuggets. How many does this take? Wow, it takes a lot. 120 nuggets. Well, that's good to know. And how many iron blooms will this give us? I also don't know. But we will figure that out together. And you will go in here. Well, good. We didn't need a ton of these furnaces. It turns out three was probably fine. I thought that we could only do three more anyway. Um, so we'll definitely have to go back and get that magnetite. That's this is an okay amount of iron, but it's not a this is not a ton of iron. Okay. Um, so let's go grab our charcoal and throw our extra magnetite in here. And I do have torches on me. Very good. So with this, we can now light up our cementation furnaces. So let's... How much? Six charcoal it takes. Oh, that's not bad at all. Six charcoal. If we had a ton of this, or if we were making a ton of glass or something like that, we would absolutely be burning through charcoal. But this is... This is nothing. I can work with six charcoal for three of these. Okay. So now let's go make our way over to the farm. And let's use the path. Because you can see the path is just that much faster. And let's get this all fixed up. I don't actually want to till the farm until I can till it with, um, what's the word for it? Oh, I'm going to need a, bear, a bucket, aren't I? Until I can make an iron hoe. Um, that way uh, we have all iron tools. The only copper tool we have is we have shears and then we have this, um, Prospecting pick, everything else is tin bronze, but I, I'd like to do iron tools. Are you pregnant? No, you're not ready to mate. You're too young. Oh, so what you're saying is I just wasted some. That's okay. That is a okay. Anyway, let me go get my bearings together, guys, and I will join back with you in a second. Okay, I should have everything I need now. Um, I am going to have to fill in our water here and move our water back. So I'm going to not know where it is, apparently. There we go. And here we go. So I'm going to fill in this water, and then I'm going to move this back by one. And I'll see you guys when that is all done. Okay, so this is all done. Now we finally have this farm properly completed. And I think now what I'd like to do is just work on a little bit of a side project because I don't want to end this episode until our iron is done. However, um, I don't have anything immediately lined up uh, as in terms of a big project that we can work on. But I do have a little bit of a side project I'd like to work on. And what that is, is cleaning up our translocator rooms. Um, I'd like to give them a nice floor. I'd like to fix up the ladders. I'd like to clear out the clutter. I think that would be a, just a nice little thing for us to do. So let's grab some oak wood. I know, very original of me, going for the oak. 
Um, is this all I have? I've been using my planks, haven't I? Okay, that's fine. Let me grab my saw. And then, I don't know if I want to go with the conglomerate. I should probably do something else and spice it up a little bit. I think it might be fun to use a local stone. I think that would be fun, is utilizing local stone. So let's, I know we have Paradoy, and then I don't know if it's Slate or Basalt. And also, I don't know why I don't have my saw anywhere nearby, because of course I don't. Definitely don't want to use any maple. Yuck. Okay. Unless I don't have a saw. I bet I missed the saw. Well, let's look at our stones real quick. I have plenty of chalk, because I made sure of that. And I don't have a lot of basalt, but I think it's slate and not basalt that I'd be looking for. And I have not a lot of paradoite either, so I would need to grab some of that. Now, I'm not really looking to use the pickaxe too much, but it's looking like I may have to use it a little bit here. Let's grab some dirt, because I'm probably just going to create a chamber. Although it might be nice to have some dedicated quarrying areas for these different stone types. So let's head down here with our lantern in hand. Head down here and just verify what stone type I'm actually working with here. And I believe it is sleep. And I'm thinking I may use birch for the floors where it is such a dark color. I think it might be nice to contrast that with something a bit brighter. Yeah, so I've got sleep rock here. Oh, and I have paradoite right here. Oh, very interesting. Let's start with just clearing up this clutter. It's going to break you fastest. The pickaxe. And this chest with nothing in it. Get rid of you. Aged crate with some granite. Very nice. Empty aged crate, empty aged crate. Chest with nothing in it. Very nice. What do we have? Ruined bed. Okay. Oh, do not break the translocator. Yeah, definitely don't want to do that. Some uh, parts, very nice. Yeah, hold on to the translocator for sure. And we'll get rid of the aged wooden planks. That makes total sense. There, get you all cleared up. Aged ladder drops. That's good to know. We could do something with the aged ladders at some point. Um, so I want to make a room, like I said, out of this local material here. Um, I do want, I think, to use birch for the planks. So we're going to have to go up and grab some birch. And I'm going to want to grab some ladders as well, because I think I, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get rid of this cave entrance and just have it so that we can just pop right up uh, here into a ladder. And I'd like to use some stone brick. Um, so we are going to have to do some quarrying, and maybe, maybe we want iron. I also am going to want lanterns. Ooh, can I not place this back down? Oh, I can, and it functions. It's just weird. Can I actually place it down normally? Yes, I can. Hmm. It's just weird. It works as a clutter block. So, slate, I think we have a great opportunity to set up a slate quarry, but again, we don't necessarily have the pickaxe for that. We are low on pickaxes, we're low on tools. Um, and we can set up a paradoite quarry um, probably here as well. So, we'll want to make sure we have an entrance to that uh, as we build this room. Let's focus on what we can control. And if we just focus on what we can control, uh, that is going to be the birch and getting some birch planks in here. Let me just make sure I didn't miss the saw. I did. I was expecting a copper saw, and we have a tin bronze one, so that's why I ran into some trouble with that. I'm going to put this junk away, and I'll see you guys when it's time to put the birch planks down. Okay, so we are back in here, and I'm going to get this birch placed down just like this. There we go. Ooh. I wish I 
wish we had some larch. I feel like larch is more what I'm looking for here. I didn't realize there was a bit of a green hue to the birch. That's not really what I'm looking for, that green hue. Um, I do, again, want to tear this room up and replace it with some bricks. Um, but to do that, we're going to have to start some, some quarrying for stone types that we just don't have uh, the ability to do right now because I'm not willing to invest more in bronze tools. So that begs the question, what are we going to do now while we wait for the iron? And believe it or not, I do actually have a bit of an answer for that. We're going to work on our path uh, because we have plenty of stones that we can throw into path blocks. And I do want to talk just a little bit about my ambitions for pathing. Um, it's something we haven't really touched on, I think, at all. But I want to let you know about the road network that I have in mind. So, obviously, we have this path here, which goes to the farm. And I am going to expand this out so that it is three wide. Um, this is going to be our main roads, I suppose, will be three wide. Um, our small more like local roads will just be this one wide here. Um, and our regional long distance roads will end up being just two wide, I think is what I'm going to end up doing. Uh, that's how I'm going to divide it out. Um, but I'd like to have a few different roads going to the areas that we frequent. Um, and so I'd like to have a road that goes up this way and brings us over to this body of water. Um, and then I'd like to have a dock here. I'd then like to have a dock over here and a road that brings us in and around here, probably up to the copper mine, um, because this is our primary source of copper and now it is a source of iron. I think it would be nice to have this road extend all the way up north, but I'm thinking what's probably going to be better for us is having a dock and then sailing this way through the translocator. I'm thinking that's a shorter distance. So we, we're going to have a road that goes maybe here and brings us to our northern outpost, or we'll expand our road and, and do that. Again, a two wide road. Um, and that's quite an ambitious project. Um, one that we are not going to work on uh, every episode or not one that we're going to work on in just one episode and, and see it accomplished. It's, it's a project that we are going to work on for a lot of episodes over an extended period of time and an extended amount of in-game time. I don't need full rocks, I'll throw a few of these back. Let me just grab some stone. Um, but what we're going to start doing, because we have not truly really started, is we are going to start setting up quarries for the different stone types. I'd like to have a designated quarrying area for uh, all the major stone types well, all the stone types long-term. And that is going to give us long-term a ton, and I mean a ton of stones. Let me go look here. I want to see if I have more stairs so I can make this a three-wide staircase. And the reason I want that to be a three-wide road is while well, right now it is just going to a farm, it is going to uh, eventually be going to our windmill, and um, I am going to probably expand in this area as well. Um, we might terraform down these hills here. Um, so we have this nice flat area and a building or two could go up here. And I do want to carve this in a little bit so that we can have a nice vineyard going on back here. And of course, we'll have a road that leads out here. So. We may even see some road expansion in and around the house here. We could always expand that road out if we truly needed to, but um, like I said, I do have a lot of road ambitions. Let's go in here and I do have some more stairs. 
So I'm going to get this road expanded out, and I will see you guys when that is all done. Okay, so we have this road nicely expanded here, and it's nice to walk on something that's not just one wide. Um, and I am using full blocks instead of slabs. Uh, let's go over, what are you called? Path. Stone path. If I pull up the recipe for stone path, you'll see it takes four. If I pull up the recipe for slabs, you'll see it just takes two, so I can get double uh, the path blocks, basically. Um, and I think the, the answer as to why we're doing whole blocks and why we're not doing slabs is because I done goofed, basically. Um, so I think going forward as we build newer sections of the road, we are going to be using slabs. I think that is tentatively my plan so that we can truly build the massive road that I'm looking to build. Um, we are going to need a lot of dirt so that terraforming I, I'm thinking of doing is going to be necessary for that. Um, we are, however, in a bit of a pickle still. Well, we are just waiting for our iron. So I think what we can do is we can go through the translocator mm -hmm. and get that one cleaned up as well. But let's figure out what wood I'd like to place over there. Um, I don't think I want to do oak. I don't think I want to do birch. You know what? I think we're going to do maple. Maple with the paradoid. Um, to me, I think that just makes sense. We need 17. I'm looking here. Do I have any maple? I mean, I guess I could get away with just 16. If I don't have any more maple already cut up, I'm not going to cut maple up just for this. Um, and I think we can just do a hole in the ground. Okay, so let's go through the translocator then and go clean up the other side. I'm so excited that our sheep grew. We still need to get chickens and pigs, by the way. I do have that on my radar, but we at least have the sheep on it. I think permanently that's where I want the sheep, so I um, definitely want to figure out where I want them sooner rather than later, uh, but I digress. Okay, and we are through the translocator here in our very temporally unstable area. And I'm going to break all of these blocks. Is there anything here that I did not grab? It looks like I grabbed just about everything. Grab this crate and the table. Stone rubble. You don't show up as anything. It's a broken block. Interesting. I will keep that as a trophy. Probably the most valuable thing we have, a broken block. Oh, no, do not break that block. Hey. I hear that, and I'm going to need you to cut the attitude over there, okay? Thank you very much. Some people... Alright, let's get this cut, cut up here. Should be using you. There we go. And... You go here. Anyway, you guys get the drill. I'm going to keep doing this, and I'll see you when we're all done. One thing that has quickly become apparent is that I don't actually have enough wood. So we are going to have to place down, I suppose, what we can for wood and come back and finish this up a bit later. Uh, because if this is not a three wide, it's a four wide, so it's just going to be wood. I like, really hate the maple. Gross. Gross. We'll see how it looks with the uh, paradoite though. It may end up looking okay. We are pairing it with that stone for a reason. Uh, you know what? I could do... I could figure something out. I am long-term going to have this be a three-wide room. And I am going to change the direction that this is facing. Not change the direction, but have the room face this direction primarily so that it works with the translocator. 
Uh, for now, though, I think we'll go back through the translocator and we'll check on our iron. I don't know if it gives you an indicator of how long it's taking, but we are going to find out. Uh, oh, check it out. Our iron blooms are all done. Perfect. So now we can dump our chest and get working on that. So let's just dump our inventory all into this chest. I see nothing wrong with this, and surely there will be no consequences. Let us grab that. I have the hammer on me already. Actually, let me grab a bowl. I want to keep a bowl on me. Wonderful. And now let's take our pickaxe, and we will break our blooms. Our bloomery. This will take just a second. And these iron blooms are hot, hot still. They are very hot indeed. Uh, they're not very hot at all. They're about 700 degrees. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to also grab some sticks while we're at it, because we are going to make iron tools. We're going to make a hammer and a pickaxe primarily, and I'm sure by the time we get done those two, um, I'm going to be a little tired of smithing. So let me show you how uh, we work iron because it is different than how we work the other materials. You'll notice that we did get iron ingots, we've got iron blooms. Um, let's just hold on to this charcoal. Let's get you in the offhand. And we need to heat up these blooms, and I am going to use both of our forges here. There's a reason we did both forges, it was for when we got to iron oak. Did not mean to do two car charcoal there. And I'm going to let this heat up until it hits about, for me, I think I'm going to do 900 is probably safe because we're working this immediately. So let's get this up to 900. Perfect. And now that we've got it there. Oh, no. No, we need our new anvil. Well, I just wasted a lot of time. When we needed something to do, we could have been working on an anvil. So that is going to require our anvil mold. I don't even know what that is. All right. I have a new quest. We are going to get an anvil. So I'm going to do all the uh, legwork required for that. And I will see you guys when we are all done. So I've decided while we're waiting for our stuff to smelt and we're waiting on our anvil and so on, I do want to complete our last field. I think that would be a nice way to cap off the episode today. So I'm just going to work on clearing this uh, while we've got stuff going on in the background. And I will see you guys when it's time to do some smithing. Well, we have our anvil, finally. Um, and I have our iron blooms heating up here. So again, we're going to get it to, we'll call it 900 degrees. And once we have it at about 900 degrees, we should be good to go. Um, I think the very first thing I'm going to do is make a hammer. Um, I want the iron hammer uh, so that we are able to hammer out all of these blooms with little or no problem. Get you in my offhand, otherwise we'll be in a world of hurt. And then uh, we're going to make a very important... I think it's just split is fine, right? Yeah. Um, so you'll notice that there's a lot of slag on these iron blooms, and that's the very first thing you have to do, is you have to hit off all of the slag, and then you actually have to shape it into the shape of an ingot. Uh, so it is something that does take time. Um, you can't cast it into an ingot, you have to actually smith it into an ingot. Um, and I believe you can do all this with a hell hammer, so you can automate this, but uh, we're not at a point to do that in the game just yet. So I'm going to get these turned into ingots, and I'm going to subsequently turn them into tools, and I'll see you guys when we are all done. Wow, disaster has struck. As our hammer actually broke, I, I tried to process both of the, um, what's the word for it? I tried to process both of our um, 
ingots at the same time, but uh, lo and behold, I needed to do one and then make the hammer. What an absolute disaster this is. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this copper ingot and... Ooh, can I just do a chisel or do I need a hammer and chisel? Let's find out. Let's grab a chisel here, which also has little to no durability. Okay. And I'm going to turn this back into copper bits. And then if I throw this in here, that's going to give me 100 units of copper. So let's get you heated up. And I'm going to cast a copper hammer. Um, I think we can use a copper hammer. That should be fine. It's the anvil tier that matters, not the tool tier. Wow, what an absolute disaster. So anyways, I'm going to um, cast our copper hammer. And I will see you guys when we can actually finish our project. And uh, let's make a real hammer this time, one that we can actually uh, work with long term. So I'm going to get to smithing this, and I'll see you guys when we are all done. Okay, now we can craft our iron tools. So we have our iron hammer, and most importantly, our iron hoe. As you can see, I'm going for the most important tools first. Uh, so we are, of course, going to be rocking our iron hoe. Let's get out here and just see how we look with our hoe. Aw, oh, yeah. Check us out. Finally, we are able to finish up our farm. That's all I wanted to do this entire time. I just refused to invest in uh, tools of lesser than iron quality. Because uh, why should we when we can make the jump to iron? So, wow, that is fast. I'm going to get this all tilled up, and I'll see you guys in just a second. Uh-oh, low fertility soil spotted. We have to, ooh, more of it. Okay, wow, that's a red alert. Let me grab some medium fertility, and then we'll really finish this up. Okay, everybody, and I do believe that is going to do it for this episode. What a uh, productive entrance we've made to the Iron Age. As you can see, we have developed the most important technology necessary uh, once you get to the Iron Age, the Iron Hoe. This tool will guide us to victory and take care of all of our needs. Uh, all jokes aside, uh, next episode, we are going to increase our repertoire of iron tools, and I think we're going to continue on our project of the translocator rooms and setting up localized quarries for some of the stone types. So, I've been Finkel11. I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode of Vintage Story as much as I've enjoyed making it, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.